Hey guys, so a lot of you guys asked me to recreate the look I had in my last video right here. You guys can find out if you want the naked palettes as well. And so I decided to do a tutorial for you guys because I haven't done a tutorial in a while. Using a lot of the same colors that I like to use, but that's because I, don't know, I really like these colors in my eyes. Warm colors tend to look really good on me. It's a lot like my go-to filming look, but then this one doesn't highlight the ball of the eye and it has a little bit of a deeper outer corner. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll go right in the video. So first I'm going to take a Sigma E50 brush, it's just a flathead brush, I'm going to put it into blank type, that's my highlight. Just this matte bone color highlight, it's one of my favorites. I'm just going to pop it right underneath your brow bone, and then draw it down. I'm going to put everything on my face and everything I use down in the description box, and also I have a 10% off code for Sigma too. I was interested. Let's just sweep it down and bring it to about right where your crease starts. Just sweep it in. Stomach's gonna probably growl because I'm really hungry. And then I'm gonna take my Sigma E25 brush, gonna put it into my Amber Lights. I love this color. You guys notice I use this a lot. So I'm gonna put about mm, two thirds of the way in. Tapping it on my eyelid first. You wanna tap at the bottom. And then slowly work it up. And we're gonna bring this a little bit past the crease, right to about where the hollow is in your eye, right there. Then you're just going to take a blending brush and blend out that line. Move it up a little. Sorry, that was really messy when I did that before. Still trying to figure out filming, but it looks like it's turning out okay. Bronze is by MAC as well. Dip it in there, use the same brush. And then I'm just going to follow this angle, edge of my corner to the edge of my eyebrow. So I'm going to kind of it down but then gently start feathering it in. Blend it up right there. I'm going to take that blending brush again, buff out that edge. It is looking horrendous. Go. We'll buff that out a bit more later. The bronze down, sweeping it in. So we go. Slowly but surely starting to come together. I'm just taking turns, adding down color, and then buffing out the edge. So I'm just pulling the color in to kind of blend it in. Then I'm just going to take this little flat head brush, I'm going to dip it into this darker shimmery brown. And then I'm going to follow that same angle. So you're going to follow that same angle, and then I'm going to sweep it in. I'm also going to put some down there on the lower lash line. And bring that up. It's not going to look perfect, but we're going to buff it out, so it's going to be okay. Just to make the outer corner just a little bit more dark and more pronounced. Now we're going to just take that same mop head brush. This is the Sigma E25. I'm just going to go brush in. The blending brush again, blend out. And then we're just going to put on some Milani liquid eyeliner. Okay, let's see if I can line my eye on camera. I'm probably not going to be able to, I'm not going to lie. Well, that's not so bad for on-camera liner. I'm going to elongate the liner, but with the kind of thinner wings. We don't want super thick liner for this look, because the lashes are kind of wispy and long. So you want to kind of... Then we're going to take that same flathead brush, I'm just going to dip it into this dark brown color. Or you can use the lighter brown that we used on the outer or on the outer edge, the bronze color. And then I'm just going to sweep this underneath my eyes. Only going about 
mm, two thirds of the way in. And then I'm going to do some lower liner. I'm going to use the same liquid liner just because I do have really oily eyelids so I have to use kind of a more powerful eyeliner. So next I'm going to put on mascara. I'm just using the Lancome Mascara Base. And then I'm going to put on some Fiberwig Mascara. Honestly though, I feel like when you use lashes then does mascara really matter? I don't know. If you want, if the liner just came out a bit dark, they can just go in with a little detailed, you know, liner brush. And then just take some of that brown and soften up that liner a little bit. Just putting it right underneath the liner. That way it doesn't look quite so dark and dramatic. And it kind of lightens up that edge a little. So next I'm just going to take a Hue Lash Curler. Part's kind of scary to do far away, not going to lie. So next I'm going to take some Red Cherry Lashes. These are the number 600 ones. I'm going to leave a link down in the description box. You can buy these on Madame Madeline, which is where I also buy all my Ardell lashes. And you can buy like Maud Lashes, a bunch of different kind of American brands. But honestly, if I were you, I would try to find Red Cherries in person first. Because um, buying them online is very convenient, but I find them to be not very uniform. So I'm just saying, you know, sometimes they don't really look the same and some of them look a lot better than others. But I don't know. Just a suggestion, but if you guys want to buy them online, then you can. And they'll be actually quite a bit cheaper online. They're actually a pretty affordable lash. They're already cheaper than Andrea and um, Ardell's and things like that in Revlon. So next we're going to just put on the lashes. I use the Darkness Lash Glue. Ooh, let's see if I could do this in the camera too. There you guys go. If you want, you can also crimp together your lashes with a curler, but I don't like to mess too much with these. The actual lashes are kind of thin. The materials, I feel like they kind of wear out easily. So on my cheeks, I just used Dior's Harmony Day Bronze. It's corally pink. I love this color. I use it all the time. I just contoured with a bit of bronzer. I used the NARS Casino Bronzer. And on my lips, I just used Max Lazy Day Lipstick. This, I don't know, basic, not so special pink color. And you can really use any pink color and I think it'll work fine. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoy that and I'll talk to you guys later.